Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by a condensation polymer. You should then be able to draw the repeating unit for a condensation polymer. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. Now I should point out that this can look a bit tricky. Before we start, I'd recommend that you watch the video on carboxylic acids and revise how we form esters. That will help you in this topic. In the last video, we saw that addition polymers are formed from alkenes like this. When we make an addition polymer, all of the atoms in the monomer end up in the polymer. Now, condensation polymers are also made from monomers. However, in condensation polymers, the monomers are not alkenes. And when these monomers react, we lose small molecules such as water. So, let's take a look at how condensation polymers are formed. The first key point is that with condensation polymers, we start with two different monomers. Each monomer has two of the same functional groups. We're going to look at an example of a condensation polymer now. The first monomer is called ethane diol. Ethane diol has two alcohol groups, and you can see these here. The second monomer is called hexane dioic acid. Hexane dioic acid has two carboxylic acid groups, and we can see those here. Now, rather than draw all the atoms, scientists often just draw boxes like this. Now, in the video on carboxylic acids, we saw that reacting a carboxylic acid with an alcohol produces an ester plus water. So, to form the condensation polymer, we react our two monomers together. I've got one molecule of ethane diol reacting with one molecule of hexane dioic acid. These react to form an ester and water. Now, the key point is that we can now continue to add monomers to either end, and this allows us to produce a long polymer like this. And remember that water molecules are also produced. Now, in reality, thousands of monomers can join together to make the polymer, and scientists call this type of polymer a polyester. Just as we saw for addition polymers, we can write the repeating unit for a condensation polymer, but this is a bit more tricky. We pick any two adjacent monomer units and draw them out like this. We then draw brackets around them so that a bond crosses through each bracket. And finally, we write a letter N to the right to show a large number. Now in the exam, you could be shown a specific number of monomers and asked to draw the repeating unit. I'm showing you a typical question here. In this reaction, we're taking 1,000 molecules of both monomers. There is one of each monomer in the repeating unit. So in this case, in the repeating unit, n is 1000. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on condensation polymers in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.